Hey. Yeah, um, let's move on to the next topic of the show. Who do we think will win it all? Um, I said it before, I'm going to take UConn with this one. I just mean, they've just been so dominant. I mean, to win 20 by 20 in every game yeah. leading up to the Final Four is pretty insane. The rim protection in Donovan Klingon, I really like the rebounding and post play from Sonogo and the shooting of Hawkins, as well as the versatility and athleticism on both ends of the floor. I think it's just going to be too effective for any team in this tournament. But, yeah, so I would take them. I think it would be a shame if they lose. For yeah. I'm not going to lie. I think yeah, this is one of those Final Fours where it's like, I feel like they're the clear favorite um, yeah. just because of the way they play. And like you said, they've, they beat Arkansas and Gonzaga by like 20, 30 points. So, you know, they've been dominant both sides of the ball. They're top 20 in offense and defense this year um, in the country. And when you have that, usually you have a great chance of winning it all. So, you know, their depth and versatility has definitely led them to the success. And, you know, I expect them to continue on winning the championship this year. Yeah, I got UConn too. Um, I think they're, like these guys both just said, they've definitely been the most dominant team. Um, I think they're the all-around. They have the best talent. They're the longest or the biggest. Um, I think they'll just be a problem for whoever they play the rest of the way. But I will say, I think Miami's going to give them a good game. And I think Miami might have a little advantage there just because they've played close games all tournament. And I also think that one of UConn's weaknesses is free throw shooting. They kind of struggle at the line a little bit. So if it, if it got close at the end, um, I don't know. I think anything could happen because uh, Miami's guard plays really good. And UConn hasn't really played any, many close games. So I guess we'll just see what happens. But I got UConn. Yeah, um, let's talk about uh, some key players to watch in the Final Four. Um, for me, I definitely think Adama Shinogo is a key player to watch. I mean, he's probably, like Casey said earlier, probably the best player in uh, the Final Four right now. Um, also, i like to uh, talk about Jordan Miller. I mean, he was big reason why they beat Texas last um, in the Elite Eight. You know, 13 for 13 from the free throw line, 27 points. Didn't miss a shot. So, you know, he could definitely be the next factor for Miami if they need to, but... I don't know, man. I think those two players are the guys I'm going to be watching out for, for sure. Yeah, I I agree with Snogo. I guess you kind of went with the different uh, players for you, kind of went with their two guards, Newton and Jackson, just because of Miami's depth at guard. Like you said, Jordan Miller, Isaiah Wong, uh, Nigel Pack. Like, those guys have been carrying Miami all, all season and all tournaments. So those guards for you, kind of got to step up and, you know, play well in order for them for the win. And then uh, I went with Matt Bradley of San Diego State. Kind of touched on this earlier. He's kind of struggled this tournament, but you know he was a leading scorer in the regular season. I expect him to, you know, break out in this Final Four and finally have like that great offensive game that uh, we've been waiting for this tournament. Yeah, and I think a key player is uh, Omier from Miami. Their their big man. Um, I just think like Brandon was talking about earlier, it's going to be key for him to kind of neutralize Sonogo, which is going to be tough. And I think if I think if that he can somewhat neutralize him. Uh, I think it'll be a really, really good game. Um, one thing I am worried about with him, though, in Miami in general, is just I think that they don't really have much depth. So if Omier somehow gets two early fouls or gets in foul trouble, I think that's going to be a point where UConn can kind of pull the game away and, and uh, really kind of put Miami away. So I think if Omier plays good and neutralizes Sunoco, then I think Miami will actually have a legit shot at beating them. Yeah, I agree.